Ikadam pre plumb cylinder now comes with a Wi Fi adapter as standard. So I'm just going to take you through that. So the Wi Fi adapter is going to come in its own little bag. We need to take it out of the bag. So we'll undo this little wrap, let the cable out, and undo that little cable tight or cut through it. The Wi Fi adapter comes in its own little bag. Obviously, we need to take it out of the bag. And we need to put this Wi-Fi adapter somewhere we can get some good Wi-Fi signal. So somewhere near the cylinder, but not inside this metal box. We need to make a decision about how we're going to connect that Wi-Fi adapter. Two ways of connecting the Wi-Fi adapter onto your router. First way is via WPS. This is Wireless Protocol Security. Check your router and see if it has a WPS button. Press the mode button for around about five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. See the mode button lighting up there. You then press the WPS button on your router within six minutes and that'll do a little handshake. Uh, to put into long-term memory on the router you'll need to do it again just the way that routers work. Connecting via access point. If you don't have a WPS button on your particular unit, press on the mode button and hold it for seven seconds. Five, six, seven and now I see the unit light lighting up. And on your tablet or device, you now need to find the actual Wi-Fi adapter. Now it relates to the number on the back of your device. So if I select on, on there, it's going to ask me for the password. The password is the same as the key number given on the back of your device. Once you put the password in, Accept it. Now what we need to do next is allow that connection onto your router. And the way we do that is come back to your front page, open up an internet connection, so put in the address 192.168.11.1 forward slash network. And that's now accesses the Wi-Fi device itself. Now I'm going to tell it which connection I want it to work onto. So for this particular occasion, I'm going to pick my Eddie Max, and then I'm going to put the password for my router. Let's put the passcode in, press enter, and submit. And now you notice on the actual adapter that the net button's now flashing, which is showing it's making the internet connection, and it's talking to the servers. If I come out to the front screen again, and now click on the mail cloud itself, I'll put my username and login, and then once I've logged in, I've gone to settings, register new equipment, and then it's going to ask me for the MAC address and the ID. Again, we'll get those off the back of the device itself, or you can scan it in. Once it's logged that, we need to then say it's a new installation. On there we can show the actual selection for the indoor unit, we can give the serial number, we can give details on the outdoor unit, we can even give the date of the install and when it was last serviced if we want to. So for example, we'll say that set today and that was the last day it was serviced. I'm happy with that, press the save and that logs that information for me. And that's all done.